Hola Capricorns, welcome to your weekly reading for the period of January 18th to January 24th. Please keep in mind this is a general reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can go ahead and set that up. And then make sure you click on the link below for the weekly extra, which will have your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. Let's get to it. Holy Spirit, Angels, Divine Guides, Universe, can you please spread your truth, your wisdom, your clarity, and your insight for Capricorns for the period of January 18th to January 24th? What do you see? What do they need to know to reach your higher ground, become closer to universe, and closer to divine clear messages? Any messages you have for Capricorn the week of January 18th to January 24th would be greatly appreciated, and we thank you. What are the energies Capricorn passed out of prior to January 18th? We have the Nine of Wands in the upright. Um, also check out my playlist in there are my 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your mid heaven and what is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Um, and that's a work in progress. We have the two of cups in the reversed for the week of January 18th. And how will Capricorn be moving out of the week of January 18th? We have the Emperor card in the upright. Ask me a question on Instant Go. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, let's get to your readings. So, okay, it seems as though prior to the 18th, you are very concerned um, about kind of what's going to come at you. Again, this is a general reading, so it can apply to like any area of your life. Um, but you're a very resilient person. I mean, we see that because this is the wounded soldier card and he's gone through a huge battle, has a bandage on his head, but he's still standing. He's still holding on to, um, that, um, I say shaft, but it's actually a wand, but they look like shafts, but you know, he's built up a little fort around him. Um, not the most stable fort in the world. So he, he does need to be a little bit wary of what's going to kind of come at him. So, you know, you're keeping one eye open, maybe being a little guarded, um, as people approach you, um, in your communications that you have, your, um, you know, questioning what they're about. Um, the, the Nine of Wands is not wanting to get hurt or not wanting to have anything kind of happen to you. So you're just, you know, putting up your defenses. Um, not overly so, but, you know, just not letting everybody in either. When we get into um, the week of the 18th to the 24th, I see the Two of Cups here in reverse. So um, this leads you to believe that you have a fallout with somebody that you have a connection to. So, um, and... I mean, it could kind of be related to this situation over here, but I, I mean, actually, I think it is in a way. Um, maybe because they were approaching you here and you weren't sure what they were going to come at you with. Um, and then they actually made it past your fort, so to speak. And the two of you have um, a clash, rather. Um, so, I mean, either you guys are arguing or it, like I, I keep on getting fallout, like a fallout of some sort. Um, it, it, and it just might be a difference of opinions and getting really emotional about it um, while you're arguing and having this difference of opinions. And the two of wands can be, I mean, the two of cups or reverse can be somebody who you know it was very much like you you were all on the same page and then what happens is there's a split and now you no longer kind of see eye to eye on things um and and there's a you know a chasm between the two of you so um definitely a problem here and i think that you're gonna you know um like i said have a falling out or something going on with that person whoever that is um but i see the emperor card here in the upright so i and i'm not sure if it's going to be you or the other person yet, this is the card of Aries, if that resonates, but somebody's putting their foot down. So um, I feel like after this happens, it's like, listen, the, these are my boundaries and this is how things are going to go. And the emperor is very matter of fact. In fact, he's so assertive that you definitely don't question him. You know, he's the boss man. He's somebody you respect. Um, and, and I think you're letting people know. I, I do feel like it's more you. I'm getting that energy. Um, but you're kind of letting the, this person know that they went too far and, and you aren't going to tolerate this. <laughs> um, so, you know, that's what I'm kind of getting. So let me see what the clarifiers are. Why is the Nine of Wands in the upright for Capricorn? Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages for the Nine of Wands in the upright for Capricorns. Who is this person? What is this energy? Additional messages, please. Why is the Nine of Wands here? Okay, we have a Temperance card in the upright. The Page of Wands in the upright. Okay, so I'm seeing that what 
what you were trying to do prior to the 18th. We have the Temperance card in the upright, which is the card of Sagittarius. So it's almost like you're trying to be okay with everything that's kind of going on around you. You're trying to find, um, you know, everything around you. You're trying to blend it all together so that you're okay with it, so that you're at peace. You're trying to find balance, harmony. Um, the Temperance card is actually having a temper and trying to temper your emotions. So you're trying to quell your emotions, trying to stay calm because um, I feel like um, you were, you know, concerned that, you know, if someone came at you the wrong way, you, you might get, you know, you might get your, um, you know, emotions a little riled up, might get a little bit trigger, triggered. And I, I see that you're working on change, a different way of things. So, you know, while you're kind of guarding yourself and while you're trying to kind of create this balance and peace and not kind of, you know, be upset or triggered or what have you, you're, you're really working on a different way of doing things. Um, one of the ways is you're trying to be open to different ideas. Um, you're trying to keep things really positive. It seems like the only thing you kind of want to let in is positive news, positive ideas. You're really trying to stay away from negative sort of things. Um, you know, keep things, every everything, you know, bright, keep your energy up um, in regards to that. So, um, but the problem is there, there seems to be somebody or something, some sort of energy that was bothering you because the nine of wands in the upright has you very anxious, very agitated, um, very stressed out, very, um, upset. So that's what you're guarding yourself against. So even though you're trying to keep things very upbeat and like I said, you know, find balance and what have you and not get emotional, I feel like there, there's something kind of in the background or hovering in the background that really has you worried, um, and I feel like you were really battling this prior to the 18th. And it's probably the confrontation or the fallout that you end up having with this person. I think um, to some degree, you kind of felt it coming anyways. So you were practicing preparedness um, for this to kind of go down. Why is this Two of Cups here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Two of Cups in reverse. Who's this person? What's this energy? We have the Four of Pentacles in reverse. The Nine of Cups are reversed. Okay. So, I'm, I'm seeing that this person is very... Okay, so for one of the, one of the things that you're actually doing is you're really um, kind of... Um, it hold, okay, holding on to everything in fear of having it taken away. So I think there's a concern that the things that you have are going to be pried out of your fingers. I think you feel as though that your your um, things that you have that are personal to you, your your things, your possessions, things like that, um, are going to be at risk or taken from you or um, something in that regard. So um, I do see that um, the person that you're dealing with is a. Um, a uh egoist um they they usually consider themselves first they're not somebody that has a lot of empathy um they're somebody who it's just you know they're their own priority um they can be considered selfish and some people call them you know it can be a narcissist I don't, I don't like to throw that label out too much but it's just somebody who always put them puts themselves first makes themselves a priority um puts yourself second uh, puts you second they're very opinionated um i feel like and you know um it's really hard kind of dealing with this person and i feel as though what happens is that somebody says something um it counters them so i i see you as the nine of swords and i, I feel as though this person is kind of coming at you and um with the knight of swords in the upright you're kind of telling them just straightforward no that's not how it is um this is this is my truth and this is how um you know um things should be um and, and I think you're coming from a really truthful place, but the thing with the Knight of Swords is that he can be very blunt, very straightforward, and the recipient of what he's saying usually is kind of taken aback or not happy with what's being said. And as a result, there can be arguments kind of happening and difference of opinions and things kind of um, get hashed out. But as a result, things move forward very quickly. So I think they move forward very quickly in, in the regard that you say, look, I've had it, I'm not putting up with this anymore. Um, why is the Emperor card here in the upright for Capricorns? Who's this person? What's this energy? Additional messages for the Emperor card in the upright. Who's this person? What's this energy? Why is the Emperor card? Okay. Okay, we have the 
ten of wands. Yeah, you're you're just kind of so. I'm almost getting that um, with Emperor card in the upright. You're like, wait a minute. You're like, oh, oh, it escalates too. Okay, so this is a real power struggle that goes on. So after this week, um, you know, they might continue to be oppressive, um, and you've that's when you put your foot down and then it's like they're encroaching on your stuff i almost i got i got this is this is my house because the the um ten of pentacles can be about your your home your house what you've built up for yourself and i feel like this person is threatening that um so you know you're not going to let anything get in the way of that um so in no uncertain terms, um, with Hangman in reverse, I feel like you're telling them, look, I put up with you for a while, but we're done now. I'm not putting up with this anymore. I'm not going to compromise. And, you know, you need to leave um, <laughs> or you need to kind of get out of my life. I, I feel like, like I said, I feel like that's happening. Um, Emperor card in reverse, I can't ascertain whether that's you or the other person. So I don't know if this person ups the ante to the point of being aggressive and um, almost cruel and tyrannical to counter your energies. Let me see if I can pull a clarifier on that Emperor. Why is the Emperor card here in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy clarifying the Emperor in the upright? Why is the Emperor in reverse? Who's this person? What's this energy? The Emperor reverse clarifying the Emperor in the upright. Okay, the full card. Okay, so I, I feel like it's you. I feel like um, th this person, um, you know, becomes, I feel like it escalates. So you actually turn into the emperor and you actually really start getting, and, and I think it's just you're being a reaction to their actions. Because like I said, I feel like they were threatening your livelihood or whatever you had going on, whatever you consider family, your domicile, what have you. Um, and you're just like, I've had it. So then you actually up the ante and then you really put the screws to them and you really let them know what you're made of. Because with the full card and the upright, I see you being done and over with this and moving on from it so pretty much after you're finished with this person you just cast them off your shoulders so to speak and you you step out um you know fresh alive um looking for a new journey looking for new friendships or what have you so it's good that you kind of step out of it and and cast your fears and, and this person i feel like you're just like whatever i'm over it this is what i'm gonna do i'm moving on and i'm moving on from you so that is what I have for you all. If it resonates, consider a um, personal reading. Just send me an email or a DM and we can set that up. Click on the link below for your weekly extra that has your love, your career, your finances, and your health in there. In my playlist are my 2021 sun moon predictions. What is your ideal career based on your midheaven? What is your compatibility with your partner's sun sign? Ask me a question on Instinco. Check me out on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok. Like, share, subscribe, and or donate. Otherwise, I'll see you in the um, I'll see you in the, what am I, you know what I'm talking about? I'll see you in the, your weekly extra. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye.